fun fact, has been smooched by none other than Harry Styles. Maybe we could all vicariously jump in his body and be him for a minute. All right, please welcome the incredible, talented, just, oh, he's so everything, I don't know where to begin. It's Nick Kroll. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, how is being a, a dad? I mean, what's... It's such a bummer. No. Uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> has anyone ever come on the show and done that? By the way... I regret it, Drew. Every day <laughs> I regret it. No, but it's, it's been... It has been amazing. It's like a true, like, true gift. I, we have a very... He's a really beautiful, good boy. And um, at, at this moment, I'm like, oh, there's... This is the best thing I've ever done, and I feel so excited to be part of it. And do you, are you a ham with your kids? Because I am such a ham with my kids. For sure. And I do John Ham for the kids all the time. <laughs> no, I, but I, I definitely, I mean, I'm, I'm desperate for his approval. And I, I do the voices for him, and I'll do a voice... Uh, and I'll sort of he'll I'll like be what him. voice? Can you give us uh, the voice? I'll do like That's you on I'll, the spot. no, no. I'll do like I'll give him an Elmo or you know, and he doesn't even know who Elmo is, but I'll just be talking to him and I'll be like, "Hey, how are you doing?" And oh and he'll, my God, can you imagine what it's like to be Nick Kroll's kid? And he'll he he literally will be like, and as soon as I do a voice like that, he goes, "Hi." <laughs> Like he thinks he's like someone else has walked into the room. Which is comedy in itself. He's your straight man. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I tell him every day. Um, <laughs> but he's, no, it's, it's really, there's no joy like hearing the laughter of your child. It, uh, it really is like a truly... Um, now, I, I was reading about your wife, Lily. Yes. And you guys met on a dating app? Yes. We, okay, this is so hopeful. It, it is. She's a... Uh, oh, she's so beautiful. She's beautiful. She's a landscape designer and oh. a botanical installation artist. That's so sexy. Yeah, she does, like, <laughs> truly amazing work. Uh, and, um, and we met because, as you know, it's like when you come... When, you're, when you have been in an industry for a certain amount of time, you, you end up feeling like you've met everyone and your world becomes smaller and smaller. And I got on the, this app to sort of try to meet people that were outside of my particular circles, and and I ended up meeting Lily. Um, and we, she, I think she messaged me on like New Year's Eve, like I don't know, 2018. Uh, and then we chatted for a while, and then finally met uh, months later. And uh, and here we are. And then we now we have a, we're married and have a child, and so uh, it's beautiful. It's uh. really great. Yeah. Now, Nick has got this brilliant new stand-up special. It is hilarious and incredibly personal. We have a clip. Take a look. I am wearing silk boxer shorts <laughs> like a businessman on vacation in Hong Kong. Those slide right on down. Lizzie looks over at me, and she is now eye to eye with my bald little cashew. <laughs> She is horrified. Jenny, the girl who pants to me, is mortified. And I am now a comedian. What was it about this special that did you have a North Star of what you wanted this to be? This particular project, I hadn't done a stand-up special in like over a decade and I, you know, I had done a lot more like voices and character stuff, and, and I really wanted to do a, a stand-up special that felt much more personal. It was actually Lily, my, my wife, when she was my girlfriend, she was like, why don't you do an hour, why don't you have to do a special? And I was like, ah, that's for the other, that's for all my friends who were like, they're stand-ups. And, and then I sort of was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. And I, I took a, a, a note from what we had been doing on, on Big Mouth, which is this animated show that I make, which is very personal and, and largely autobiographical and, and much more vulnerable than anything I'd ever done before. And so I tried to take that to my stand-up special and, and sort of really talk about where I am in my life. And then so many things in my life unfolded while I was making it, like the lockdown and getting married and having a child and all of that sort of informed the stand-up. And so the hour is a much more piece of, I, I hope first and foremost, funny but, but also very kind of honest for where I am in my life. It's uh, really great, yeah. We have to go to a quick
quick commercial break. Will you take us to break as any character you would ever want to do? I just love hearing uh, you do your voice. Okay, I'll, I could do uh, uh, maybe Gunter from ah! Yeah. Okay. Sorry, okay. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We are heading back in time to believe a little bit of the seventh grade. And so stick around. 